Howdy guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. It is update time. So, 0.17.1. This is the two-year anniversary. So, happy birthday to you, Westland Survival. And happy birthday to me. Because roughly around this time, I've been playing Westland from the very first video. Uh, sorry, very first time that the game actually dropped. And yeah, I've been on the game for the whole, well, I've been playing the game since two years. So it's pretty much come full circle for me, but I guess for a lot of you, maybe, maybe not so much, but yeah, we are two years into this game and what a way to kick it off that they're celebrating. There is a party going on, which, which we're going to definitely check out very, very soon. But as is tradition to the game, and with any update that I cover is that we're going to quickly go through the developer notes and just have a quick run through and skim through as to what has been updated. So two years in the saddle, Westland Survival celebrating its second anniversary. We want to thank you all for, uh, thank you all of the brave cowboys, sorry, who decided to join us in this adventurous Wild West journey. Complete special anniversary quest to get rewards and celebrate two year uh, Westland Survival Birthday with us. To start the quest, just prepare yourself for the party and lock into the game. Simple enough. Okay, shopping time. Making your crafting dreams come true is much easier now. Town merchants have noticeably expanded their product range. Now you can buy not only raw materials, but also other useful resources from T1 to T5. Boards, tone blocks, leather, ingots, clothes, ropes. Uh, these resources are always available for sale in town and if stock runs out, don't worry. Our suppliers from all over the Westland, uh, sorry, Wild West, will surely restock the amount of the required resource the next day. And to find out more, there is a post in the Facebook page for the town guide. Um, and then from there, uh, we have the sheriff outfit reworked. Rare sheriff outfit was returned to the game and its visuals were improved, show outlaws a formidable look of uh, the law. And from what I can see, it actually looks really, really good compared to the original album that I remember. And I collected actually a whole lot of those as well, but unfortunately they did get reworked and removed from the game, which was a bit of a disappointment, but what do you do? Um, as we go along, rewards for the first uh, chapter of the storyline, added rewards for completing the quest of the first chapter of the storyline, players who have already passed the first chapter will find their rewards in uh, at the inbox sorry floors and workshops requirements were fixed annoying problems with the inconsistency construction requirements of floors and workshops were fixed now you can upgrade workshops and warehouses without any obstacles that's always good where the system has been improved travel across the um travel across the uh the prairies I didn't even pronounce that word, but there we go. Uh, has become more realistic, a dynamic weather system has been added to the game. Now the weather conditions change during your movements around the locations. And if the weather worsens completely, then the thunderstorm may break out. That's cool. Quest system has been improved. Storyline tips and descriptions were improved to make the quest much clearer and understandable. Some storyline characters received new portraits. Uh, haven't started a storyline campaign yet, talk with Molly at your ranch to start the adventure. And then we've got John Conrad, the journalist, uh, Pet McBride, uh, Deputy Sheriff, and then Donna Duren, the mistress of the saloon. And then we've got here other improvements, T5 skins can now be dropped from uh, the Piazza at some of the southern locations. Killing high level bandits now generates less outlaws anchor okay cool anthracite mistakenly appeared in the chromite mine in the previous update all anthracite including mine uh was replaced by coal we apologize for the inconvenience caused to the delight of the audio files sounds of the walking on different surfaces were added to the game the appearance of the bandits at the north locations were improved the highlands location reworked the ranch stall now has its own unique minimap icon fixed the era when uh, armor and weapon warehouses did not appear at the neighborhood bases fixed era when lift did not appear in the second level of the mines okay cool so that was actually a bug with them with the mines potentially so that's interesting but anyway 
that pretty much takes it all through the actual updates itself. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to head out, suss out the new party that's going on. I've already got myself dressed for the occasion, as you can probably see. So we'll head over now and see what is what. So I'm actually excited to see what that's all about. I've got a few things happening on the map at the moment, so all well and good. I think I should be right heading over today. Okay, so let's go in. And... Now I have seen this as well from other people that have posted and things like that so kind of know what to expect but I guess this is just my my bit here because there are some things I want to discuss real quickly while I've got you guys here today so something that people haven't covered at, um, at all I believe so I want to cover this here so stay tuned all right so what have we caught look at that a big clip gun okay Curiosity 2, the Luxury, we've got some rare tubes, you know what, let's bust open that and see what we get, Gunslinger hat, nothing special, nothing special, nothing special, unfortunately nothing special, wow, didn't get anything interesting out of that, but anyway, we've got some T5 resources coming at us, which is great, so let's just go ahead and take all of that. And we got so many people here to talk to. How cool is that? So, so we've got the sheriff fella here. Howdy, it's a special day. Thank you for sharing or staying with us. We couldn't make it without you. Well, that's nice. Keep defending our territories. I'm sick of eating fish, you know. Fix this, fix that. My gut tells me I need to switch to the potatoes diet. Okay, so you can actually talk to him again, but notice some of the key things that some of these people are saying so for example the guy that fixes everything in the um uh sorry in town is this assistant shepherd this is my favorite holiday in the wild west and i already told him that mm, okay so something like this i think that this is telling us that they're inadvertently the developers are throwing in little sprinkles and hints of possibly what's to come in future updates so think about that whilst we're talking about or whilst my player is talking to everyone else in town speaking of saves don't get me wrong i'm not interested in what's inside i just crack them you have my word yeah they released me out of jail um cell for a while there's just one thing that bothers me what color will be the christmas chest this year okay Wanna enchant your ring to plus 49? Yeah, I do. Sorry, it's my day off. Come back tomorrow. And I told you many times already. It was better the way it was. And this is Arnold Langston. And holy moly, not long time no see. So sad you no longer need my help. Or perhaps you need some assistance with a household. James Guide. So I think he was the original guides person when the game was first developed or when they first introduced the concept of the tutorial and guides way back when if it was back in Westland. Any chance we can switch to a better way of communication? I'm running out of pigeons. So between James and um, the trader and I believe Arnold as well and obviously um, the, the tribal elder here and even the Grinch are giving us some information possibly again we're only speculating here we've got uh, John Conrad here where is John where is John I'm over here I have a better question why John okay people are confusing me with some other old Nick for the record my name is Nicholas Nicholas Kim Cage remember that name and we've got people keep asking me about horse breeding also they are curious about new horse equipment one day i'll have to take care of it that there is an interesting one that there is very very interesting horse breeding really and also new horse equipment one day is going to take care of it one day i think the developers are going to drop an update about that keep that in mind guys 
What do you mean you don't know who the who is Herlock um, Holmes Sholmes? <laughs> Tell me you don't know one Jotson, okay? And I've got a few questions for you. I've noticed that you come here swing your weapon around aimlessly every time. Are you mentally healthy? Okay. So this guy here, potentially there might be some new herbling resources coming through, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Old Nick, the stable man Norris, he interests me the most. Horse breeding. Kind of like a, a groom soul thing where you find different horses or not so much in a breeding element, but you can trade different horses, I believe. I don't know that if that's still a thing. And you can get yourself a better um, version of your horse. So that's something. So maybe there's possibly introduction of levels for your horse. So maybe better capacity that you can use your horse, so a little bit more storage, or you're strong, the stronger the horse, the better that it pulls the wagon, uses less oats. That could be something. So I'm just gonna let that sit and simmer with you guys. So between, um, so with the trader, different communication styles in running over, um, you know, in finding out what's going on, what, what we'll be trading or what is available for trading, that is gonna interest me. John Conrad here and the guides, so the potentially different guides that could be resulting for different chapters of the storyline of the game, things like that. Um, Arnold Langston, I'm trying to remember this fella here, but it looks like he's got a Christmas um, weapon with him, so I'm not too sure what he was all about. The the trouble out of here, plus 49 weapons or rings, sorry, or accessories essentially up here, what we've got. I think that's something that we should probably be looking at in the future. And then I reckon there's something big coming for Christmas this year. What color the Christmas chest will be. I don't think we can actually take that with us, unfortunately. So I don't think that's something that we can do, but that's something there. And I know there is someone else across the pond over here that we can speak to. Okay. Okay, you know, afraid me not hurt you today. Me now understand why do me miss you in fights? Me ask you, let me hit you at least once a week. So, there's probably something maybe happening with this fella. Once a week, a massive boss, boss fight, I don't know, outside the spirit caves. So I'm guessing that's something that we'll be looking at potentially that might be happening in future. Okay, so it's not to say that it will happen or what I'm saying that may not be a thing, but you know, I think that there could be something that could be along, you know, coming in the new future with some of these guys. So I think possibly the whole idea of throwing up these guys in a two year anniversary update is promoting what's to come in the next updates. We don't know what order that would be or what that would look like, but I think that's something that is going to be um, you know, something to look forward to. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments because I'll be interested to know exactly what you guys are thinking as well. I'm not too sure if any of you guys have actually thought about this. It's just something that initially came to me straight away as soon as I um, was watching someone else looking at this. And I thought, you know what? I reckon this has something to do with future updates. Don't ask me why, don't ask me how, but I think there's going to be something that's going to happen, I reckon, soon. We might even see something come through in the near future. And it may not be exactly directly what we're thinking, but it might be something that would be along those lines. So it's just something to ponder on, something to think about. If you guys want, rewatch the video. Uh, with the transcripts and the discussions that the character had with everyone else in that little party zone there and make up your own mind and let me know in the comments and let me know what you think anyway i'm going to leave it here today it's a short one but i just wanted to cover this i know it's been covered so there's really not much else for me to go through but i wanted to give you my side of things my input and what i think could happen in the future of the game and possibly what to expect Anyway, take it easy guys, thanks for watching, please like, comment down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, 
And if you enjoy my videos, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway, guys, take it easy. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.